Hello Taurus. Today's video is going to be a reading all about how your person is feeling about you, about the connection. What are they thinking? What are their energies? We're going to be looking at all of that today. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching. Take what resonates for you, what applies for your situation, and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for you, Taurus, for Taurus spirit. What guidance messages do you have for Taurus when it comes to love? What's going on for Taurus in love? What's going on for Taurus in love spirit? Trying a new spread. Um, it's been going pretty well with the other signs. So we'll see what messages we get for you, Taurus. Um, this deck that I'm shuffling right now does have uprights and reverse uh, energies. And then the clarifying deck is all um, upright. So it could give us a little bit more clarity. So let's see. What's going on for Taurus in love? What's going on, Spirit, for Taurus in love? Let's see what we have for you. So this reading will be all about your connection. So what's been happening recently, yikes, starting with the Seven of Swords reverse and then the King of Swords reverse and the Two of Pentacles. So this is the past, present, future energy, kind of the overall energy of what's been going on for you in terms of, you know, love. And it's it hasn't been great, it doesn't look like. I feel like a lot of you have been dealing with uh, someone that's been deceptive and you're unsure what to do with what you found out or what's been revealed, what, you, what you've what you caught someone doing perhaps. Some of you were dealing with someone who was giving you the runaround. Okay, so what do we need to know about this? Challenges, insight, the Hierophant. Well, there you are, Taurus. King of Wands, reverse. Yikes. <laughs> it's just, it hasn't been good. Some of you are dealing with someone unfaithful or someone that just deceived you or was doing something behind your back. How do you feel about this person? The Nine of Swords reverse and the Emperor. Aries energy with the Emperor. Well, I feel like a lot of you are, you're overcoming any fear or stress or anxiety that this situation possibly caused you here and you're taking charge. How do they feel about you? Five of cups, makes sense. Three of wands, reverse. Okay, so yeah, this person is probably having regrets. Sad, disappointed. Um, I feel like this person is no longer waiting for something though. Maybe they were hesitating, waiting for something. Maybe they become impatient or just aren't willing to wait any longer. We'll have to see what that's all about. So where's all of this headed? Six of Swords, <laughs> Queen of Cups. So someone's definitely leaving this situation and moving on. There's, there's this energy of someone moving on, moving forward, visiting someone perhaps. And what do you need to know? Any hidden factors? Wheel of Fortune reverse, Six of Cups reverse. So I feel like this has been, um, for a lot of you, a karmic situation. Um, maybe this has been a situation where it's almost like it's stuck energy, like someone stuck in the past or this has to do with like timing in some way. We'll have to see when we clarify. And why is all of this happening? The magician. Okay, that's why all of this is happening. Someone's making something happen. And we have the sun after that. So this could be somebody that's focused on clarity, bringing light to a situation, bringing clarity or happiness. We'll see. <sighs> Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. I don't, I don't know what's been going on with my Taurus like viewers recently but you've been going through it let's get some clarity for you Taurus spirit angels guides clarity please for Taurus what does Taurus need to know about 
what's been happening here. What does Taurus need to know? Well, this started off with, a, I'm not, by the way, I'm not going to clarify every single card, but I'm going to clarify the ones that need a little bit of clarity here. I could tell you that in the past, present, future here, it has not been good. Something happened for sure. So let's see. Let's start with the magician. Why is all of this happening? The magician. Tell me about the magician. What is someone trying to make happen here? Five of cups. What is someone trying to make happen? This could be your person. And of course, Taurus, feel free to um, flip whatever energies, you know, make sense for you here. Roles can be reversed. Tell me about the magician. Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone, yep, Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone that's trying to fix something or bring, you know, take advantage of an opportunity here after some disappointment or maybe they're regretting something and want to change their circumstances here. Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone's felt bad for a while or has been dealing with a lot. So I think this might be one of those instances where, didn't you have a reading recently where someone was coming back to beg? I could have sworn that was for Taurus. So what's the Seven of Swords reversed about? What happened here with the Seven of Swords reversed? What is the Seven of Swords reversed about for Taurus? What's this about? The sun, yeah, something was seen very clearly here. Someone was caught doing something or you realized who exactly you were dealing with. What was done in the dark is now like brought to light. Tell me about the seven of swords reverse. King of pentacles, you could have been dealing with someone married or someone did something to uh, a, co a committed person, you know? Someone could have been deceiving you about being married or you could have been married to this person and they were caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Why the two of pentacles? Why the two of pentacles? Why is the two of pentacles here? The wheel of fortune shows up again with the lovers, Gemini energy. So this is someone trying to figure out if this is the right choice. This is someone weighing their options. I have the Justice card at the bottom of the deck, Libra Energy. I feel like this is someone wondering if this is the right, like, action they could take or debating what to do. Now that you know this information, what are you going to do about it? And I see you very upset at this, Taurus, at whatever has happened. Um, I see someone here with this King of Wands reverse is pissed. And this King of Swords reverse. I feel like this was a situation where there was pain, yes, but it was more anger than anything. Like you were just angry or upset more than hurt. And I don't know, I'm not saying that you weren't hurt at all, but I'm, I'm picturing someone extremely upset here. And I feel like you were kind of wondering what to do, what to do. There's a lot of anger and resentment here. Tell me about the uh, higher font. Why is the higher font here? The tower look at that yeah i feel like this could have been something that happened in a in a long-term commitment a marriage for a lot of you this could have been something shocking unexpected a tower did happen here with this reveal tell me about the king of wands reverse yeah seven of swords someone's pissed at what happened king of swords Maybe you investigated something, found something out. The King of Swords is um, someone that gets to the bottom of, of things, right? So let's see about how you feel towards each other here. What do we need to know about these two? How you feel towards this person or what energies you're bringing to this connection. Tell me about Taurus and this person. Tell me about Taurus. What do we need to know, Spirit, about Taurus? What do we need to know about how Taurus is thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection with this person? We have inner voice. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. 
Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What do we need to know about the person that Taurus is dealing with, Spirit? Falling leaves. Time changes everything. Changes, transition time. Yeah, there's something here with time. Um, I think your intuition guided you about this person. Your gut has been speaking to you about this person, this connection for a while. Um, and I feel like your person is undergoing some sort of changes or trying to change or this is what they're telling you. I have paralyzing fear at the bottom of the deck. So maybe they're just scared to approach you, scared to face you. I can tell you, you're over you're over the, those feelings of his anxiety and fear. Tell me about the emperor. Tell me about the emperor. What do we need to know about this emperor? Ace of Wands. This, this emperor is going to make something happen here for sure. Tell me about the emperor. They want a new beginning, going after something new. King of Swords. Yep. This emperor, you were the one that I feel found something out. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. The emperor again. Um, I feel like you're being very strong right now, or at least this is the energy that you are embodying because I feel like you are just so pissed off. <laughs> I think you're over it. Whatever the, I, I'm just getting someone that's kind of like the grown up and it's almost like, um, whatever emotional response you used to have, it's not there any longer. And this is something that's been happening to Taurus and Sagittarius. I, I'm picking that up in your readings recently. You're, you're going through a shift. Capricorn as well. Tell me about the Five of Cups. What's this Five of Cups about? Why is the Five of Cups here? Six of Cups. So someone's really sad about the past, disappointed about the past, um, regretful over the past. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse. Why is the Three of Wands reverse? Five of Swords. Yeah. I feel like someone was impatient or rushed into something here. And um, I think it caused conflict. This person is probably the person that was very unfair or played dirty with you. Tell me more about the Three of Wands reverse. Why is the Three of Wands reverse here? Yeah, they're, they're trying to fix this now. Two of Cups, Ten of Swords, probably because they're trying to avoid an ending here. Or trying to avoid being like cut out or left out in the cold. Maybe they miss you. Maybe they just feel bad that things ended up the way they did. But I'm starting to think with this. Oh, Ace of Pentacles fell out there. I'm starting to think that with this Five of Swords. Let's see. Tell me one more, one more energy, please, for this Five of Swords spirit. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. So I feel like, mm, be very careful because I'm, I'm starting to think that there's something that you don't really know. Like if this person were to come forward, um, I feel like with the Hermit, I'm getting very quiet energy. And then with the Five of Swords, it's almost like this is hidden. Um, this energy of the five of swords, maybe some, maybe this person is thinking quietly or reflecting and wondering like, will Taurus take me back given everything that's happened? Um, is it too late for me? Let's see. Tell me about the six of cups reverse with the wheel of fortune reverse. Tell me about the six of cups reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Why is the Six of Cups reverse with the Wheel of Fortune reverse? The Devil. Yikes. This is definitely like a karmic situation. This is like a karmic partner or an unhealthy attachment that's cyclical. Like I'm getting someone that's kind of stuck. Capricorn energy here. Yeah, this is, this is definitely like a karmic situation. Now, this could be the person you're dealing with, Taurus. Or this could be a third party situation. The reason I say that is because I feel like there was a lie or a deception here about something and that could have involved another person. Tell me about the Six of Swords. What's the Six of Swords about? Why is the Six of Swords here? 
justice. So someone's going to where, towards something that's more balanced, fair, just. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. I think this was a karmic partner gone wrong. Yeah, judgment. Judgment, justice, I'm thinking final decision, huge wake up call. Someone is making a, a judgment call of some sort. I feel like for a lot of you, this is you, Taurus. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. But for others of you, you know, if you're free to flip it, this could be your person. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this is you, I feel. You're unsure of where you're headed. You just know you want to, You want something different. I feel like a lot of you know that you can't do what you've been doing. Um, that something has to change for you. That you need to make a final decision. That you can't stay in the same back and forth that you've been staying in. I feel like the goal is already like in your mind. It's almost like the emotion part of it possibly with the Queen of Cups. That keeps you a bit kind of like unsure undecided yeah king of cups so i feel like some of you there's an emotional attachment here and it's probably because you're in a karmic situation so feelings end up getting tied up here and um yeah there's like stuck energy so be very careful i feel like a lot of you need to be free of this with the nine of pentacles and the nine of swords right after that I feel like you need to be free of this guilt, anxiety, fear, stress. And I feel like a lot of you are getting there with the Emperor here. A lot of you are getting there. Now there's a new opportunity I feel like someone is thinking of. It's going to require letting go of something though with the Ten of Wands. Probably some burden or baggage from the past would need to be let go of here to go after this new opportunity. But make no mistake, I think you are ready to cut cut the cord and go um, I feel like a lot of you your intuition is guiding you here listen to your intuition listen to your gut um, I feel like there's a new opportunity here with the wheel of fortune the lovers tell me about the wheel of fortune and the lovers whoever's making this decision I feel it's about change changing something because when the wheel of fortune arrives it's forward momentum things are not the same tell me about the wheel of fortune and the lovers queen of wands this is about going after what you want being bold yeah this is about going after an opportunity page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and then there's the eight of swords yeah there's just fear that's holding you back here it's just fear that's holding you back, you or, or this other person. But what I'm picturing here and, you know, the energy I'm getting is your person, they're focused on balancing things out. And I feel it's like they don't want you to go after this new opportunity. Um, they're thinking about how to resolve this, whereas I think you're thinking about moving forward. Let me know if that's the case in the comments, if that's resonating for you. But this was definitely like a karmic situation gone wrong, for sure. Like there is a karmic partner here or a karmic cycle that someone is literally stuck in and they need to break free. So that's what I have for you, Taurus, in regards to what's going on for you in love. Hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. I appreciate all of your support and for watching the videos. I really um, am so grateful that you guys stick around and check up on the videos and leave such kind comments. Thank you for that. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.